Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about or answering the question, should I ask my customers to leave reviews on one site or all of them? So if that's a question you have asked yourself as well, or something that you are wondering to learn more about, then stay tuned. Let's go ahead and talk about that. So should I ask customers to leave a review on one site or all of them? That's a really great question. And I think it's best to target a few review sites rather than just one, right? It's, it's good to try to concentrate on, on a, a, a couple main websites, popular websites. And uh, you want to make sure positive reviews appear in as many places as possible online because you never know when customers are going to be looking at. Uh, but also, you don't want to spread too thin either way. You cannot control anything at all, right? So, But you also want to stay focused. So you don't get overwhelmed monitoring many different places. It all depends where you are in your business, right? Are you a solopreneur? Are you just yourself running the, the, the operations? So or you have a partner running the operation? And um, how much time can you concentrate on monitoring this type of stuff online? Do you have a team, right? Do you have a team that can help you and solely concentrate on that? Then great, right? You have to see what your situation is. So, uh, right? The, the, the main thing over here is to stay focused so you don't get overwhelmed monitoring and posting responses everywhere, right? And so that you don't overwhelm your customers with requests going to different places. So if you don't have any reviews, try starting with one site and then move on to others as you gain more feedback. Um, I think that's a very good strategy to, um, you know, get started on one site and then move to others. Like, for example, let's say for this year, we have pretty good reviews on, on Google. Then let's focus then next year on, on Yelp, for example, right? If you were like a restaurant or a local service um, to get your feedback, right? Now, one thing that I will recommend is because Google is uh, one of the major, um, uh, the big search engine, right? A lot of people are doing searches and I think I was looking at an article today that there's about 40,000 uh, searches being done in Google by second, I think it was. Uh, so ima imagine the billions uh, that are done in, in, in months and trillions of searches that are done in, in a year. Now, I don't know how long ago was that video or the article uh, in reference to that number, right? 40,000 searches by second, I think it was. Um, so you can see that definitely Google has a big predominance when people are looking for problems or solutions to the problem or answers to the question, right? So it's definitely a, a, a main place I would recommend to get started um, in, in Google. Um, however, right, for bars and restaurants, maybe Yelp, Facebook could be a very important as well. Um, but still, even for restaurants, I will recommend to start on Facebook. But for example, you have other places like doctors, right? You have other websites like Health Grades or, or for lawyers, for example. There's a website called AVO, A B V O, um, which are very industry specific, right? So that you gotta see where, what industry specific you are, uh, what review sites are available that can also help your Google ranking um, uh, to go high because they have a high domain authority. Um, so for one tip, one tip I will give you before we leave is that uh, you can come to, let me minimize this real quick. You can come to this website called, I think it's Y, Y Shark. Uh, let me just get you that real quick. It is whitespark.ca okay so if you come to this website you can come to resources and then you're gonna go to scroll down to where it says um, citations by sources by category okay then you choose the country you can choose for example United States if you're in the United States and then um, you're gonna come to a section or a website where you're gonna have the ability to pick um, the industry and why, the, why is this so slow? Okay, so here, right? You have an option to pick a category. So for example, if I want to pick a category of attorneys, what are some good websites where um, I should be listed for attorneys? So, you can see here, uh, you can see lawyers, that Finlaw, 
uh, Avo or Avo, I don't know how you say that, just yeah, lawyers.com, yellow pages, thumb tag, um, Yelp, it's good for any any type of industry now, days, you know, just restaurant, uh, super pages, so you'll, you'll see there, right, you, you can see there the different variety of, of um, websites that they will recommend according to the industry specific to attorneys, now you can check all these websites, you don't need to be on all of them, you can see what fits you best, Obviously, you want to be in some predominant ones like Google, for example, Facebook, um, Manta, um, Bing, um, Yelp, um, Yellow Pages, believe it or not. And then, you know, other industry related specific, you know, like Avo, just yeah, lawyers.com, etc. So that was just an example of other, other resources that you can use for free to find out what are other um uh, sites, websites where your business could be listed. I hope this information was helpful. Now, if you have a business, now, quick question for you, right? If you are a, um, um, if you have any other recommendations in reference to, um, to your, sure, I ask customers to leave reviews on one site or all of them. If you have any specific thoughts about that, let us know. Let us know what are your thoughts, right? Should you you ask to leave all of them? Uh, why do you think that's best? Or should you ask just one? What would you think that's best? And share it with all of us if, if, that's, <clears throat> if that's possible. And then the other thing I have is if you are a small business owner here in the Solano County area and you are having issues with customers complaining that it's hard to find your information online or that informa your information that they find about you online is usually wrong or misleading, right? Either because they see different phone numbers or they see a phone number and when they call, it, it's completely wrong or the address is it, it's wrong, the website, how to get in contact with you, like an email. If you get any of those complaints, um, I, I, I can do something for you. Go to my website, digitaltrack.co forward slash scan my business. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna complete the form over here Get uh, click the button, get my free report, and what's gonna happen is gonna get that information, and and then what that's gonna allow me to do is contact you to uh, work with you or talk to you to put a report together to see what's causing those issues, and then also what I'll be providing is uh, based on that report, I'll be providing some recommendations of some things that can be done to fix those type of issues. So if that's something that interests you, uh, just go ahead and come to the website digitaltrack.co forward slash scan my business complete the information and we go from there if you have any other questions you can reach me on facebook uh, facebook.com forward slash leo callejas 2 um, my main website or, or just come to the home page of my website right digitaltrack.co and there you'll find my sales you can call me or text me or you can see my email there and also you can see here uh, different social media where you can find me. All right. Hope you have a great one. Bye.